Following the governor's executive order for Virginia schools to implement a cell phone policy, some local districts are already discussing it. The topic of cell phones was already on a Virginia Beach School Board member retreat agenda today before Governor Glenn Youngkin announced further restriction of phones in schools. Ten on your side's Amy Avery joins us now with some of the challenges the district is already facing. Amy? Helena, Virginia Beach City Public Schools already has a cell phone policy in place that bans cell phones during instructional periods. The district says until the further guidance from the Commonwealth is released, they don't plan to make any changes. To create cell phone free education in the Commonwealth of Virginia is a critical step for healthier kids and better learning. Governor Glenn Youngkin issued an executive order this week pushing for cell phone restrictions in public schools amid growing concerns to students' mental health and spiking suicide rates. The just massive addictive quality of cell phones and social media, and particularly in our young people, is causing all kinds of, of mental health challenges. Chesapeake and Virginia Beach already have cell phone policies in place that ban phones during instructional hours. Virginia Beach City Public Schools Chief Schools Officer Matthew Delaney says their policy has been in place since 2022. He says it still comes with challenges of keeping students off their phones. Our teachers work hard to address it. They work with our families to address it. Collectively, we believe the adults have to come together to support our teachers in creating the best learning environment for our kids. Further guidance from the state hasn't been released yet on what the ban could entail. Superintendent Donald Robertson says they do not take phones from students, just expect students to be off of them during instructional time. He says completely taking them or placing them in storage boxes would be costly if that's part of the plan. It requires monitoring. It risks phones disappearing and us being liable for the cost of those phones, which you know are over $1,000. Superintendent Robertson recommends waiting to see what the state releases before making any further changes. We need to engage our stakeholders, and those are the parents of our students and our students. Now, some board members voice concern about parents needing to get a hold of students in case of an emergency. We'll tell you some of the other concerns and the district's response to those concerns coming up. Amy Avery, 10 on your side. Amy, thank you. And 10 on your side wants to hear from you. Should cell phones be banned from K through 12 schools in Virginia? So far, more than 600 people took our poll over on wavy.com. About 75% agree that cell phones have no place in the classroom.